Let's go. Hi, everybody, and welcome to the 2014 Nissan of Valencia High School Football Preview Show. Hi, everybody. Hi again, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on Fox Sports West. I'm Dave Caldwell. Tonight from Saugus High School. Tonight from Paul Pree Stadium. Tonight from the Brick House, a capacity crowd as SCB TV presents the Boys Foothill League Game of the Week, the Hard Indians taking on the Canyon Cowboys. Hi again, everybody. Thanks again for joining us here on SCB TV. I'm Dave Caldwell. Big night in front of us. It's the final game of the regular season. This place is going to be loud. The energy level is going to be off the charts, and for great reason. A lot to play for here tonight. First and 10 for Big Bear. Ball's on the ground. Picked up. Eddie Sanchez running for the touchdown of his life. He picks up the loose football, and the young man who literally jumped across the border three years ago <laughs> did not speak English, picks up the loose football, and rumbles 50 yards for a touchdown. Leading receiver coming into the game with 33 catches. Second team Foothill League from a year ago on his way to Duke. And we just saw him featured at halftime as our student athlete of the week. And that ball is intercepted. Alex Rasul, touchdown. Alex Rasul is nothing short of a playmaker. He is a sack machine, and now he has picked up his first interception of the season, and he returns it for six points. And this is Austin, the young man starting in place of Ryan Beto as, at the point. Austin has had a lot of playing time this season. And there's Jacob Tobon firing it up the three to start things off. Tobon, last week against Hart, scored 25 points in what was arguably the first time he's been healthy all season long. Copenhaver, Franklin, MacArthur, there it goes, goes up, it's gonna be short of the mark. And the Hart Indians, the first time since 1997, go undefeated in the Foothill League as they defeat the Canyon Cowboys 53 to 52. We see the impressive numbers for Chris Davidson, both offensively and as a pitcher. What are some of the intangibles that he brings to the game that we can't see when we're looking at a box score? Uh, his confidence is, is the biggest intangible. Yeah. Argren, just a freshman, a couple of youngsters out here, had a 14-game hit streak during the course of the season. Seven multi-hit games, swing and a miss. That one goes off the face mask of Nick Kitzman, the catcher today for Santa Inez. But he's one for 16 in the playoffs. Two balls and two strikes to Argren. Lined out to first baseman Zach Snyder. Let's go ahead and set the defense now for the Pirates from Santa Inez. Zach Snyder making that great play. He is the first baseman. Brock Dickey is at second. Jacob Pritchard, the shortstop. Nick Ruelas is at third. Tyler Kelly is in left. Colby Barrick in center. Kyle Vantillo in right. Nick Kitzman is a catcher. And Zach Tora on the bump. And Tony, like you mentioned, just a sophomore. How impressive is that? that that young man gets the call here in this championship game for the first time ever in Santa Inez history to be here. Tonight from Falcon Gymnasium on the campus of Cerritos College, Fox Sports West Prep Zone presents the CIF Southern Section Four Championships presented by Farmers as the Santiago of Corona Sharks take on the Aliso Niguel Wolverines in the Division 1A Championship. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us here on Fox Sports West. I'm Dave Caldwell along with Paul Westfall. We could not have asked for the two better teams in this division to play for this championship than the two that are going to be here tonight. The two teams that are ranked numbers one and two in the division. And, Paul, they have been on the top from the beginning of the season. Lindsey Reddens to serve for Elisa Miguel. She is third on this team in aces with 31 coming into the match. Good, tough serve that time. That's Wolf. Dug out by Ruddens. There's Plummer. Dug by Terrain. Blocked. Dug out by Betancourt. So an opportunity to set something up. And the left-handed hit, have we seen it? All Catherine Plummer takes advantage of what may have been an offset. 